Hey guys, it's Robin R. Silent Crafts and welcome to my studio. I'm going to be having a live tutorial tomorrow here on YouTube on December 19th. It's going to be at noon Eastern Standard Time, my time here in Florida. And what we're going to be making and what you guys wanted to see is a little bowl cozies. This is the basic bowl that I use for microwaving food and soups and stuff, and it fits in here nicely. In case you're not familiar with a bowl cozy, some people put these directly into the microwave with their bowl so when they heat their food and they can take... Not like that. So some people put these directly into the microwave with their bowls and their soup or their pasta or whatever they happen to be having in it. So after it comes out, your bowl tends to be a little hot. They can grab it here by the ends and just take it out. As you can see, I sometimes have issues with holding things and things just drop out of my hands. I have a couple little nerve issues. People with carpal tunnel and arthritis and stuff might have the same issue. I don't actually put my bowl cozy in the microwave. It could just be me, but when I microwave food, even if I put one of those little, I have these little shields you can put over it to stop it from splattering everywhere, food still gets somewhere, especially when you're reheating something that's liquidy. So what I like to do is I will heat my food in the microwave. I will take it out with a pot holder, make sure the edges are clean, and then when I go to take it to sit down, I tend to sit in my recliner to eat a lot of times, and I will go ahead and just hold my soup bowl like this, so it's going to keep the heat from transferring to my hand, and it's going to allow me to eat my soup no problem, or my chili, my pasta, anything that you might happen to have in there. It's also nice when you're sitting at the table because this will give you that little bit of heat resistance to keep it off of anything that you're setting it on. Plus, it just adds some bright, fun colors to your dinner time, right? These bowls are completely reversible. If you check down below of this video, there'll be down in the description box, I'm gonna to link to a couple blog posts that I came across that have some really good information. One is the one that I found on just basically how to make this, and the other one will give you a couple different measurements if you wanna have a different size bowl. The one I'm using is a 10 inch square. My bowl is just about six inches across, and it seems to work pretty good with this. You can make it a little larger, a little smaller, depending on your soup bowl. Now, if you make your square smaller, then this part will be smaller in here, and these sides will go down. If you make it larger, you'll have more of your sides coming up, and it'll fit a larger bowl. The one caution with this is if these are going to go into the microwave, everything you use needs to be 100% cotton. You need to use cotton fabrics, nothing with any of the little sparkles or the metallic threads or anything going through it, because of course metal in a microwave is going to possibly cause a fire. Your batting needs to be 100% cotton. For this one, we are going to stick with using tried and true, and we're not going to be replacing it with anything that we might happen to have around the house. I'm using 100% cotton batting. The batting I like to use is 100% cotton. It is a warm and white from the warm co company. There's also a warm and natural. They have a, there's a special batting you can buy that is like a potato zapper, warm and zap or something like that. It's made specifically for making those potato bags where you can bake your potato right in the microwave and it has a little bag pouch that you put it in. So you just want to make sure there's no scrim in your batting because scrim is basically a way that they glue the layers together and it's more of a fiberglassy thing so you don't want to use that. This batting has been needle felted so a whole bunch of needles has just gone through it and that's what keeps the batting all nice and together. You're definitely not going to be able to use your polyester batting for this one. Your thread also needs to be 100% cotton. No polyester threads, no metallics. You just need to make sure everything that's in this is going to be that, 100% cotton. Now, I don't put mine in the microwave, but what happens if somewhere along the lines I forget and I do want to use it in the microwave or my kids come over or something? I want to make sure I'm sticking with the 100% cotton everything so in case it accidentally makes it into the microwave, you know, kids, whether they're young kids or adults, they don't always listen, so you want to make sure it's going to be safe for them. 
I like to use two separate fabrics for mine so that I have a contrast for the ones that I'm making tomorrow. I'm going to be using a solid fabric and a print fabric, but you can make any type of combination you want. You can actually use an old quilt block as long as, again, you use 100% cotton thread and cotton fabric. You can have a quilt block on the outside and then you can have whatever you want on the inside, match it for holidays, make special ones for birthdays. Now let's say you don't use a microwave. These are still can be used and made as gifts. They can be used for popcorn bowls. You could put pretzels or popcorns or any type of a dry snack. You're obviously not gonna put like ice cream or something right into this bowl, right? But if you have your ice cream in a regular bowl, it's gonna keep the little kid's hands from getting too cold. But these are really nice. You can use it as a bread bowl, as I said, to make one for each of the person in your family and they can use it on movie night to fill up with some popcorn. Yes, you will have to wash it eventually. They do get dirty. They're gonna get dirty if you eat them with just your soup or your chili. Things do tend to splash places and everything like that, but they can easily go through the washer and dryer with no problem. So I hope you're able to join me tomorrow on the live stream at noon Eastern Standard Time. Just find out what time it is in Florida compared to where you are, and that's the time I'll be there. I do like to put up a little reminder video in the morning. So if you try to click on it, it's just going to be a picture of the bowl cozies stating that we're going to be going live at noon. So you won't see a video. So you have to wait till noon my time to be able to get into the room. I do like to open it up and start the video maybe five or 10 minutes early so that we can just sit and chat for a little bit before we get into the project. So anytime you're watching the replay and you don't want to hear that chitter chatter, just go ahead and fast forward. I'll tell you when I start the video how many minutes. It's usually about 10 minutes. Fast forward 10 minutes and then we'll get right into the tutorial. It's fun to kind of just hang out with everyone and chat a little bit, see what's going on and who's going to be making the bowl cozies with me at the beginning of the video before we get started. It also helps me not to be late. So check down in the description box for those links. We're not gonna need templates or anything at all. We're gonna be able to cut this out with our rotary cutters. We're gonna learn about sewing darts and we'll do a little bit minor quilting and everything. And I'll also show you, I don't have an example today because I'm working on those, but we'll also learn how to make these curved. So in case you don't want to have handles and you wanna just use it for a popcorn bowl or something, you can get rid of all of these pointy ears if you'd like. So I'm looking forward to hanging out with everyone and sewing some bowl cozies and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.